Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we will continue the module 6 part 2 fire extinguisher. How an extinguisher works? You can see in this picture portable fire extinguishers apply an extinguishing agent that will either cool burning fuel, displace or remove oxygen or stop the chemical reaction so a fire cannot continue to burn. When the handle of an extinguisher is compressed here, before we compress we have to remove the safety pin. It opens an inner canister of the, this is called the canister, inner. Usually it has the outer cylinder and inner cylinder. So, inner canister of high pressure gas that forces the extinguishing agent from the main cylinder through a siphon. Here you can see there is a pipe, siphon pipe and out the nozzle. The fire extinguisher works much like a can of hairspray. What are the extinguishing agents? There are many extinguishing agents are there. We can see what are the very important agents. Water, foam, carbon dioxide, sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate and steam sand. Fire extinguishers are not. This is common for all type of fire extinguisher. You can see here this is very important. We will start from the pressure gauge. This pressure gauge should be in the green for the healthy position. Then you can see there is a discharge lever. Here there will be a safety pin. This pin we have to remove before we do the operation. Then carrying candle. When you take it, you have to hold here and carry to the one place to other place. Discharge locking pin and seal is here. Discharge hose. While you take it, this hose you can hold in the another hand. Discharge nozzle. So basically it is a cylinder body. Here there will be a label which contain the all the details. Fire extinguisher types. We know what are the classes of fires. So basically for the solid fuel, water is mainly used. What are the solid fuel? Paper, wood, those things we use the water. Then foam, solid and liquid, A class and B class fire, we use the foam type fire extinguisher. The powder usually for the common for all classes of fire. A solid fire, liquid fire, gases fire, A class, B class, C class, even for electrical fire also powder can be used. Using the correct fire execution is very very important. There are A class fire, B class fire, C class and electrical as well as kitchen fire also there. Here I have given you so water only for the A class. Foam spray you can use it for the A and B class. Whereas ABC powder you can use it for the A class, B class, C class even for electrical fire. Carbon dioxide you can use it for the B class fire as well as electrical fire. For wet chemical you can use it for the A class fire and kitchen fire. Fighting the fire. Pause. P represent the pull the pin. First you have to take that safety pin. Then aim low at the base of flame. Don't go near to the flame. At least maintain minimum distance. Six feet minimum maintain from the fire to your uh, hand or your cylinder position. 
then S represent skews the handle. Another S represent swaps side to side, make a complete you know, side by side so that axis and contact will not there. This is for the liquid fire. Here you can see the various type of fire extinguisher, mainly water tub fire extinguisher for the solid fire. Then sand, fire sand packet, mainly nearby the diesel yard we can see this uh, fire packet, sand. There will be a fire packet where the sand is filtered inside. Then mechanical foam extinguisher, DCP extinguisher, tri powder, CO2 extinguishers. These are the extinguisher commonly used in the hospitality industry. Now we will see the detail about the water type fire extinguishers. You can see here this picture itself self explanatory. You can see basically there is a cylinder where the water is stored inside. Inside the water there is a siphon tube. Then you can see stored pressure here. This is a stored pressure with the air. Here the compressed air they stored the pressure is maintained. Now hose is here. The pressure cage also there. The pressure cage should be in the green position. Safety pin here available. Here handle. Now we will see what are the construction then how does it operating those things we will see one by one the water type most suitable for the a class fire which we call it solid fire example wood paper and charcoal this is basically portable type usually it comes in the 90 liter capacity of water inside the outer container is filtered with the water. This is an outer container. And the inside, the compressed air as required pressure is filtered inside so that uh, when you choose through this ship on, the pressure uh, water will go and execute the fire. To operate the water type the fire execution, first the safety pin or clip is released. Here, your safety pin, remove it first. When pressure is applied on the plunger here, this will make a uh, pressure will make in the, the pressure will go inside the siphon. Thus, automatically the pressure which will be enough to inject the 20 to 30 feet uh, goes through the nozzle, hose nozzle. As a construction, as I told you, there are the two type of container. One is outer one filtered with the water, whereas the central one has the pressurized air in the case of the water type fire extinguisher. Same type, chemical type of extinguisher also available where the different CO2 will be available in the chemical type extinguisher. Other than both are common. We will see the next type of fire extinguisher. Mechanical foam fire extinguisher. You can see here the difference between the water type extinguisher and the mechanical type extinguisher. There is a gas cartridge inside. There is a other than the your siphon. Here you can see the there is a pressurized gas cartridge. Then instead of water foam solution is inside remaining all more or less the, uh, this here it type itself uh, different here plunger instead of that handle here plunger then safety safety clip gas cap assembly handle then discharge tube sip on pipe mechanical foam fire execution more or less same in the function you can see here instead of the handle there is a plunger. When you press this plunger, this plunger will make a puncture in the gas cartridge which is a high pressure, maybe 25 to 30 kg per centimeter squared. This will create a chem inside the reaction with the foam. Thus that forced solution goes through the 
sip on then it will start to do the fire extinguisher water with co2 extinguisher so here also only the co2 is used here cartridge other than this is similar to the water type extinguisher instead of the gas in uh, water type extinguisher here co2 cartridge is used remaining all same there is a handle safety pin pressure cage hose siphon so remaining all same dcp extinguisher try chemical powder you can see the co2 gas cartridge is here internal cylinder here this powder is filtered so the function if you see more or less all type of fire extinguishers are similar only that chemical whichever name if you call it as a tcp then their dcp powder will be filtered so if we call it as a water then water is filtered in the cylinder that is a main difference remaining all the functions are same co2 extinguisher so here completely co2 co2 is a filter there is a sip on pipe then to create a, your increase the pressure all cartridge is required hope now you understand the basic operation how to use the fire extinguisher we will continue this module further thank you for watching hope you all subscribe in case if you have not subscribed please subscribe and like our videos thank you